Hello, my name is Adrian Hotkowski and today I would like to show you how to connect to Azure Data Lake Storage from Fabric Workspace using Workspace Identity as an authentication method. First of all, if we have our workspace and that is connected to Fabric Capacity, we can enable Workspace Identity by going to Workspace Settings. There is a section called Workspace Identity and the only thing that we have to do is just click this button plus workspace identity. Let's click it. And behind the scenes, it will register uh, this identity in the underlying Microsoft Entra tenant. This identity will have the same name as our workspace uh, with some proper identifier assigned. So we have our workspace identity. So we can go back to the Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 that we want to connect and we can assign proper permission to this identity. We can do it by clicking add role assignment. We can find a proper role. In this case, it will be blob data contributor. Let's click next. And now by selecting user group or service principal and select members, we can try to find our identity. As I said, it should have the same name or similar name to our workspace. So I will try to find data popcorn demo. It is available. I can select it just like that. Review and assign. And proper permission should be added. So we can go back to our fabric workspace and uh, we can use this workspace identity in two different places first of all we can use it as a authentication method for shortcuts available in the lake house or we can use it as authentication method of copy activity inside the uh, pipeline so let's open our lake house and create a shortcut first so right click it on the right click right click on the files new shortcut select Azure Data Lake Gen 2, create new connection. And we can provide URL for our data lake storage. The easiest way to do it is go to the storage itself, to the endpoint section, and under data lake storage, we should have URL that we want. Just paste it. Uh, and now uh, the only thing that we have to do is to um, choose proper authentication kind. So in this case, in this instead of organizational account, it will be workspace identity. Nothing else we should do. As you can see, we see the structure of folders available on our Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. Let's select the root one. And after a few seconds, it should be available for us uh, inside the lake house so we can leverage this connection in our uh, notebooks. Pretty simple. Uh, let's go to the second place where we can use it. So data pipelines. In the data pipelines, when we select uh, copy activity for the connection, we can choose existing connection or create a new one. Uh, experience of creation of this kind of object is pretty similar like it was for the shortcut. In this case, I reuse it uh, just for simplicity. Everything should be okay. Just to confirm it works, we can just click browse. And as you can see, CSV uh, root folder is available. I can select whatever is needed for me and I can copy data using this copy activity and load it to my one lake to the specific place like uh, lake house or warehouse, whatever is needed. So as you can see, everything is very, very simple to set up. We don't need to bother about secrets. Uh, we don't need to bother about, um, uh, let's say, rotation of secrets or something like that. Workspace identity is a managed, uh, by Mike, it's managed by Microsoft, so we don't need to bother. If you want to read more about it, uh, I encourage you to visit my blog, SQLity Net, where I describe all of it in detail with some additional information. 
that's all for today so thank you very much and see you soon